Vicky Bello vlog! Yay! Hi everybody, how have you been? It's getting to be the next, almost the last quarter of the year. I'm sure I'm going to hear Christmas music soon. But anyway, it's a lot of good news in the last quarter of this year. Um, a lot of Rebella babies are getting engaged. Did you know the latest one? Well, I'm going to share her with you later on, but let's talk about Alodia and her beautiful Hi. body. Aww, how have you been? You. I've been great. I mean, like ever since the li last life we did a few months ago, it's like everything made it so much easier. I mean, I could just wear anything. You know, people I want. couldn't believe Alodia nak palaypo bakit she's so sexy. But then you show them the picture. Yeah, they yeah. saw it. <laughs> yeah, they saw the difference. I could uh -huh. feel the difference. It made me also like more confident and like anything I wear is okay. For it's me. okay now. Yeah. What made you decide to do it to begin with? Um, I had this like burn love handles and the puson which couldn't go away even if I exercise every day like I have a treadmill at home then it mm -hmm. will still never go away uh -huh, but okay. like after the procedure it's more of maintenance na lang. like I already have abs <laughs> <laughs> I know we show you the pictures because it mm -hmm. looks really good so when did you decide to have a lipo? Um, what made me decide? Yeah when? Like, when? Did you think about it for years? Was it just one day you look in the mirror and I'm like I'm getting tired of this, having to wear... Did you, did you wear girdles and stuff like that? Ah, uh, yeah. Be, it, it was like gradual. Like, I was wearing spandex, but as I grew older, like, I was wearing corsets. And then, so like, eventually it kind of limited, like, uh -huh. my creativity in terms of doing cosplay and, like, fashion, I guess. So, it, it took a while. It me I had to, like, research and it kind of convinced me. Then when I tried it on myself, I should have done it sooner. It's a long yeah. time ago. Because yeah. the results are really nice. So mm -hmm. I know that we tried to give her a little more hips, mm -hmm. right? Transfer yeah. the fat. Because you only had naman puson, yeah. which is a very Filipino kind of body. Mm -hmm. We're really genetically inclined to have big, Like, even if your limbs abdomen. are, like, slim, you right. still have a puson. So I do a lot of people like Elodia who are very slim to begin with, but just have this pouch and the reason they have that pouch is there's a lot of fat cells in this area mm -hmm. for genetically the distribution of a Filipino is to have a lot of houses here for fat mm. so when the fat goes around the body trying to look for a place to live they always come here because there's a lot and so when you do liposuction did you see your bottle I'm not of sure. fat you know? <laughs> anyway there's usually not just there's a difference between the fat cell and the fat so in fat lives inside the fat cell so when you take out in like uh, fat in liposuction it's the whole thing so it doesn't come back like mm -hmm. yeah, you, I'm sure you don't gain weight there anymore no if ever I gain weight it's like more what do you call it distributed it's yeah. not just like concentrated here in anymore. one place yeah anyway so mm -hmm. but we didn't know at that time when we did the liposuction that something exciting was going to happen to her life because if you recall at that time, mm -hmm. Medjo break lang yeah mm -hmm. with her ex. So that breakup yeah. happened how long ago? Um, it was last year, but the announcement was, came later because mm -hmm. I wanted to keep it under wraps. I mean, as much as possible, I don't want any noise. I want, I don't want drama to be honest. But uh. eventually, people kept on asking wh what's happened, and I was flying to LA that time. Like everyone in, um, in the airport was asking where was my ex. <laughs> so for me, it's hard for me to lie. Oh. Oh. So it's like it just it's hard. So I come is this again, and then eventually I had to like post online so that. People know. So that was months later. When did yeah. you post? Like four months, three months later? Uh, so it was a month or uh, just a month later. Yeah. And then yeah. people were so it was so my Yeah, it was. And then she had this post where you're so sexy and then what was it? Oh. You were showing ah. something like a kong kakanin or whatever. I don't know. I was in a gold dress. Like okay. that was my event in LA. So, uh -huh. yeah. Which you have a lot of events in you've been going abroad a lot so you work with not mm -hmm. only you work with nintendo what else yeah with... playstation uh league of legends riot activision blizzard like most of the uh video games you've been playing with i mean i eventually um got to know them and work with them oh nice so i'm so proud because internationally elodia is really well known in fact uh -huh. I met Elodia, she was only 19. Yeah. Yeah, and she was already introduced to me as somebody very famous. And then she told me I'm leaving for Japan because I heard you were even more popular in Japan no, at that time no. than here. <laughs> I was, I was crying. But she's so humble. I'm no. so proud of her because she hasn't changed at all. No, the but, Barbie is my idol ever since. Yeah. <laughs> well, I love it. You know, we can all make it in every field. You just mm -hmm. have to find. I always, they ask me, 
what's your secret? I always say you just find something you love to do. Mm -hmm. And like you love to do cosplay yeah, and gaming. everything. And then you find a way to make money from the thing you love to do. <laughs> then you never work a day in your life. Yeah, or like everything will follow. Yeah, and everything will follow because you're not doing it for the money. Mm -hmm. You're doing it because you really love it and you want to uh, elevate it. Yes. and make more people happy with it and your goal should always be on that direction mm -hmm. but talking about positive goals she recently got engaged and i just mm -hmm. met her fiance today and i have to say sobrang winner <laughs> so, so let's please invite your beloved here all right hi come chris welcome are you shy no naman di ba please sit with us Oh, hello, come closer yeah, naman. Nice. Oh, closer tayo yeah, kasi I don't know where the okay, camera is. How are you? So nice to meet you so nice to today. Meet you too, We're so happy because he's Christian. Yes. His name is Chris. Is that short for Christian as well? Uh, no, it's not short for, it's short for Christopher. Oh, Christopher. But I'm Christian, so it can also be short for Christian. Okay, so <laughs> I know but Christian and guy, you can almost be assured that he will love you the right way because it's a Bible-based love. In, in, the, in the Bible, it says that you know, he has to love you as Christ loved his church, right. which is mm -hmm. like, church is all of us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But oh, you have to submit the man. He is mm -hmm. the, he's the head of the family, yes. but you're very, ano naman. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're so feminine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very successful woman and yet very feminine, yeah. which I really like. I'm a little more on the masculine side. Yeah. I think most alpha women tend to be strong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the Lord just so. But I'm still kind of masculine. It depends yeah. when I'm in the gaming yeah. scene, maybe. <laughs> Please tell me about the love story. I love love stories. Every love story is so special. Yeah. So I, I make my family vet people. Ah, yeah. okay. Yeah. That's a thing for you. All. And yeah. then. But so her sister was also a gatekeeper. So Philip had to negotiate with her sister, Ashley. Your younger sister, yeah, Ashley, younger sister. is a gatekeeper. gatekeeper. Why? Yeah. They're very protective. Yeah. Yeah, they're you. protective because I was at like the state na parang I was like scared na Jade na parang par maybe this is my life I chose to be like super workaholic na lang focused on oh, work. So, you <laughs> went into that kind of thing. So mm -hmm. what did Philip say to you exactly? Philip set up like a quadruple date, I think you could say. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And then um, I didn't. Why quadruple? Hindi ko maintindihan yung quadruple date. You know, okay, so kunyari feel, it's not pressure. Okay. Yeah. Too much pressure. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And I didn't get. A, we, we had a great conversation. Like you're kind of interested by so we you sat we're sitting beside each other right away towards the end of the night but at the beginning we were yeah across. we were across. oh yeah. that was who made leap but you did i did i came over and <laughs> i made her take the myers-briggs personality test no take him so when you saw her first impression oh of course you um, know my father-in-law just saw her today ex-father-in-law and he said mm -hmm. you're so beautiful, so beautiful. She really is, so you got i know parang wow shocked Okay. <laughs> but of course, you're still looking for more than just that. You know? Right. And um, I saw that she was so much deeper than, than just that. But I was oh. very, of course, very intimidated for sure. Oh. <laughs> I remember, because I, I, of course, I was researching her a little bit like online. She no, cool stalker. Stalk okay. <laughs> yeah. She stalked me too. So. I had to. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I had uh, to. I have a background uh, check. A what did you, did you like his background? Um, yeah, there were a few articles about you, and mostly yeah. just work. And then business. what what really like kind of intrigued me? You had a nice smile. Oh, oh. Like very dimples, but at least I hope the kids get dimples. So and <laughs> then going back to you, so we just kept talking, and then we kept having a really good conversation, and. I was able to somehow, we, we started talking about like different personalities because she's super introvert, you know, mm. I don't even know how she does this so well, you're really <laughs> good at this, but like she's super introvert uh -huh. and I'm super extrovert. Ah, okay. And so I, I wanted to know to like what extent is she an introvert, so I talked about, you know, the Meyer Briggs personality uh -huh. test. Yeah. Had her take, ask her answer a few questions online. Mm -hmm. Is this your style talaga? Or is no, this just I mean, for just <laughs> Smart eh. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Hayden, I believe sa kanya, Hayden with all his tricks said, oh, that's a good one. <laughs> so he did a Meyer it's Briggs really personality trick. test so on his phone. Yeah. So I have the data. So she, he had all the data on a load, yeah. yeah. So, mm -hmm. no, not all of the data, but I had an idea of kind of what you're all about. So that we know if we're a good match or not. Yeah. But, but oh. from the start pa lang alam na. Okay, <laughs> like well, that's good. Cause, yeah. Okay, and then from there, from there, I, I failed to get your phone number. You know? Why did you fail? I thought that if I would have pursued at that moment, I might scare you away. Mm. And also, I was trying to play it cool. No. <laughs> oh, Hayden's advice also played cool. Don't Always. be too excited. And you, I don't know what feeling more when you saw him. 
Oh, when I saw him. Filipino, like, he, you speak Filipino. Okay lang sa Tagalog. Okay lang sa Tagalog. <laughs> okay, I just want to ask though. The one thing, because when I was talking to her about it, of course, we're kind of, you've only been together four months, right? Mm -hmm. um, so, first of all, when did you decide that you would propose? Well, if you ask your friends, even after the first month of knowing you, I knew I was going to propose to you. <laughs> you, can ask, even, you can even ask Bernice if you want. Ah, she, why? She, she, why? How did you know? Ah, you just knew. They always okay. say that. It's like when you know, you know. But like, uh. I actually experienced it for myself and my thought. Well, if I know, then why waste any time, right? Oh, oh. okay. And Ikaw? You knew? Um, it, we were like talking about it and because we're both futurists as well. So uh -huh. it's like, it's According nice. to the Ring Myers. Yeah, the, Myers. The, the, <laughs> the Gallop, Gallop. Gallop yeah, thing. Uh -huh. na, we like dreaming about the future. So when we talk about that, parang it was mostly like very positive, happy thoughts. So parang I'm not scared of ever things. Okay, that's the one thing she told me. She goes, I feel so safe. Mm -hmm. Which I think men don't understand. It's so important to us. Mm -hmm. Well, why do you feel so safe with him? Maybe first of all, because he understands like my real personality, I guess. Uh -huh. Like I already explained to him, I'm super shy. It's hard for me to express myself. And then sometimes he ex he explains myself better than and then I just agree. Yeah, <laughs> he explains. Yeah, you're like, yeah, yeah, that, that. yeah, yeah. Okay, he's communicating that. myself for me again. Uh, so that's amazing, especially for me. Because <laughs> I know a lot of people don't understand still my personality. But yeah, yeah um also like you're very kind mm -hmm. and humble. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. like, if, like our first kind of issue with the bashers, yeah. we were thinking more of each, each other, other than ourselves. I noticed that. It wasn't mm -hmm. about yourselves. Yeah. Yeah. That's how we knew. We're very different, but I think we're super compatible. Yeah, at least in mindset and value. Yeah. Family is very important to her, is it also for you? Extremely. Mm -hmm. ah, okay, that's so good. Coming mm -hmm. from the States, sometimes <laughs> it doesn't happen. So now we have a cute game, I think, to find out how well they know each other. They're getting married, they've gotten engaged, in only four months they're getting married to guru in about eight months but the way i see them it's just a very peaceful loving relationship you can see already parang they're soulmates but anyway let's see how well they know each other so we will play the short game you only have five seconds to answer okay so please okay. hurry up okay so the first question is can you describe alodia in two one or two words humble visionary Oh, you show them. Humble visionary. Okay, and what? For me, for myself? Yeah, how do you Hello. describe yourself? Hello. Hello. <laughs> unreal. <laughs> unreal. I'm able to be non alone. I'm out of this world. I'm just kidding. <laughs> do you find her strange a bit? Like, does she do things that parang she's from another planet? Or. Parang nilagay lang siya dito. Like, okay. Does she space out a lot? Uh, she's, her mind sometimes is elsewhere in like some fantasy place. But she's very. She's... No. Fantasy, sir? Is that in all her life or just in clothes? <laughs> That, oh, oh exciting! Okay, and you, can you describe Chris in one or two words? Actually, it's the same thing. Unreal. Unreal, Unreal. Ren? Why? Yeah. Because yeah, it's too because... good to be true. Oh. Yeah, because like, first of all, you're so humble, you're so kind. Oh. You're so humble and, kind. Thing. and then, you're cute. Pa. Oh. He's very cute, huh? some of bashes out there. <laughs> Sorry, you're wrong. Yeah, From a cosmetic have... surgeon doctor, wow. he's very cute. And how do you describe yourself? I said positive and extrovert. Okay. You know, I love it because a lot of people put themselves down on this one. Yeah. You know, they say, uh, okay lang, whatever. But you said good stuff about yourself, which is always a good sign because that means you don't need clapping from others and affirmation from others. Okay, good. Diba? Because um, actually, that was one of our biggest problems with Hayden and, and with my first husband that you met Kanina. <laughs> At, um, they both, you know, I thought Hayden was kidding me because after all, you see him is six foot three, good looking, smart, doctor, but he was very insecure. And because of that, he needed so many, so much. Adulation. Same thing with Atom. Because then they all, you know, the sound of me just clapping is not enough. They need fans. But Jesus saw that. So you should really be Christian. Okay, question number three. This, what is my three? Who is your celebrity crush? 
Oh, you are a celebrity girl. Time. No, this time she answers and I want to know if you know it right. I know it. Now, okay, go. Let's see how well you know it. Who's your celebrity crush? Who's look his at celebrity Yours. Go tell her, Lodia. She's Wait, space no. cadet. She's not getting the instruction. No, no, no. Here, are you going to ask you just, me? Oh, okay, it. fine. Who's she? Okay. No, you you say first, and then I'll say if it's correct. Yeah, okay. Okay, fine. who's your yeah. celebrity? Character. It's either going to be Cloud from Final Fantasy VII or Zaydane from Final Fantasy. <laughs> Okay, guapo ba yung mga dalawa, in your opinion? Sure, yeah. I mean, how can you compete their anime characters? I don't know. Anime, okay, <laughs> it's very hard people. to compete. Oh, so I thought you were a Korean person, no? No, not so uh -huh. much. It's so anime. Yeah, so fictional what are, characters. Okay, why do you have a crush on fictional characters? It was because like, growing up and then they're so cool. It's more than the looks, it's the personality of those characters in the game. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then like season... How come you know? Because I know. <laughs> no, we talk about that sometimes. Yeah. Okay. She's All... part anime, so. She's also part anime. <laughs> Filipino, half anime. Okay. <laughs> so, okay, now, mm -hmm. who are your celebrity crushes? Who's my celebrity crush? <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> Me. <laughs> okay, hindi siya humble. <laughs> oh my god! Oh! We're alive! Okay, for sure. <laughs> Go! Get married tomorrow. <laughs> Last question, and I'm curious. Mm. Mm. Who do yeah. I ask first, you or you? How many children do you want to have? And what, you know, boys, girls, how many boys, how many girls? Yeah, I want two. One boy, one girl. And Nico Chris. Two, one boy. Wow! Uh, match made in heaven. So, Fine. this is it, you guys. This is a good, you know, for me. Um, I love the way they care for each other. I love the way they just think about each other. I actually love the definition of Christian love. It's always putting the interests of that person above your own. And parang I've seen that. Aww. And then you guys know each other so well. So far, parang of course, I'm sure marriage is not perfect, right? You will have some friction. But you definitely have 90%, you know, already very compatible. So I'm so happy to see that as your future Nina, I don't like to advise people when they're not because they run to me when they have problems. Oh my God. And sometimes I do make pakailam if I feel it's not good. I actually take the girl aside. I go, I don't think you guys better wait a little. Mm. And then many times they don't listen to me. But then <laughs> later on it happens. So in my, you know, mm. I really feel that these two are very compatible and they're going to be so happy together. Maybe, you know, not a Cinderella fairy tale, but definitely close to that. Aww, and thank you. Thank you for giving us the honor, Hayden and me, of being your Ninong and Ninong in Aww, advance. Thank you. Oh, thank you for <laughs> and she's gonna have a dress made by my favorite couturier, the person who did my wedding dress, Michael Cinco. So, Hopefully. yeah, you will really be happy. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you guys, please tell them to like, subscribe, and whatever. <laughs> what? All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, uh, click uh, exclamation point notes. Like, click, click the not notification bell with Dr. Vicky Space. Yes, please. And mm -hmm. don't forget, game. Only Bello touches, touches our, our skin. skin. Who, Who touches, touches yours? yours? Bye. Bye. Thank you, Chris. You did it good <laughs> without rehearsal. Galing, galing. <laughs>